Okay, so I mentioned in the last video that I did that I'm kind of getting away from Great Eastern Cutlery a little bit. Um, so and I had talked about buying one of these Ottermesser 3 rivet knives, and I just got it yesterday. So here it is in front of me. Uh, I'm doing this video quite a long time, like four weeks, four, three or four weeks before you're going to be watching this. Um, I've just been filming all my videos ahead of time here recently. Um, but anyway, Ottermesser 3 rivet knife came yesterday. Here it is in front of me, and I wanted to get video of it before I start to really use the knife. And it starts to, you know, change as I use it and everything. So... This is the three rivet knife called so for these three rivets in the handle here. I believe this handle material is smoked oak, I think. There must be some other versions of these, but this was like the only version that I could find available in the United States right now. Was this like smoke oak, this smoked oak uh, wood handle and the, uh, I believe they're stainless steel rivets. I wish they were carbon steel, but they're not. Um, the guy that did the video on this knife that got me interested in it originally, uh, Messer HQ, he lives in Germany, and his is African Blackwood with brass rivets, which is cool, and I really do like that, and I wish that we had that available to us here, here in the United States. Um, it might be available from somebody, but I didn't see it anywhere. Um, speaking of, I ordered this knife off of eBay, but it came from a Atlantic Knife, I think. Yeah, Atlantic Knife. So it did come from like a knife uh, retailer. So Atlantic Knife and I think Chicago Knife Works too. I know are two retailers that carry Ottermesser knives. I'm sure there's other ones, but a lot of companies don't carry the Otter knives because, you know, they're from Germany. Um, two different versions of this. You can get it with stainless steel blade or a carbon steel blade. Uh, if you know this channel, you know which one I chose. This is the carbon steel. Uh, of course, right now it's all nice and shiny and everything. It's got that cool uh, otter etch, otter etch on it there, which is pretty cool. It's made in Sulage in Germany, of course. Um, yeah, I mean this knife is like the perfect size for a pocket knife, in my opinion. It's not huge, but it's you know it's a fit. It's a good size. Like, you can get full hand on it, no problem. Um, the thickness of the handle makes it very comfortable to hold. And the knife is, you know, just about the perfect size, in my opinion, for a pocket knife. The blade's about three and a half inches long, which is, again, about perfect for me. Uh, the cutting edge is just a little bit over three. Um, that's pretty much the blade size that I really do prefer in a pocket knife. Um, overall the knife is like, what is it? Seven inches. Uh, it looks like it's like eight inches almost long, like open and then closed. I think it's like four and a half or something like that. It's four and a quarter closed. So fairly sizable knife, but is a good size for a pocket knife. In my opinion, the centering on this particular example is not perfect. I don't really care about that. It's a knife that's going to get thrown in my pocket and carried. Um, as long as the blade isn't completely contacting that liner, which it isn't, I generally don't care about centering. Um, but yeah, so the Ottermesser 3 rivet knife, I carried it a little bit last night after I got it, and I've been carrying it so far today. I carried it this morning. I haven't really used it for anything yet. Uh, because, you know, nothing's come up to use it for yet. Uh, but so far, I'm impressed with the quality of this knife, and I really do like it. I think I like this more than the Anchor Messer, just because the, you know, the three and a half inch, like, spear blade is quite a bit more usable than the sheep's foot blade that's on the Anchor Messer. Um, but they're both good knives. Uh, this has this kind of fancy bolster, where it's got, like, uh, I don't know if you call this scallops or what you want to call this, which is kind of neat. I mean, it's just a little touch that kind of makes the knife look a little bit fancier. And I like the three rivets. I do wish the three rivets were on this side as well, but they're only on one side. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, the uh, 
Otter Messers, the two that I've gotten so far, have been pretty impressive. I'm probably going to end up buying a few more Otter Messer knives just because, like I said, I'm kind of going to try to step away from Great Eastern Cutlery a little bit because they're so hard to get right now. And if you want one that already came out, they're so expensive on the secondary market. That being said, I do have one coming, um, so I might make a video on that. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to tr kind of try to step away from Great Eastern Cutlery for a little bit. Focus more on some stuff like this, like maybe some more Otter Messer knives. I could see buying a bigger uh, anchor knife than the one that I have. The one that I have is the small one. So I could see getting the large anchor knife. And they also make, I think they call it a safety knife. It's got like this weird like toggle lock system on the back of it. And that's kind of cool. Um, so I could see ordering one of those. Um, but yeah, I mean, Otter seems to make pretty good knives. I like their... I like most of the knives that they offer, and you know, they are knives that are meant to be carried and used and everything, which I do really like. The action on this knife isn't exactly perfect. Um, it snaps open pretty good, but closing, it's a little, I don't even know if you'd call that lazy. I'm just used to knives that really snap close, and this one doesn't do that. So anyway, construction, it's pretty much all steel, except for the wood covers, of course. Um, you know, steel pins, steel rivets, steel bolsters, steel liner, steel back spring, and then you have the carbon steel blade. I don't know if any of this other steel is carbon steel. Uh, I think in the description it says stainless bolsters and stainless rivets. I don't know if the pins are stainless and the back spring stainless as well, but it very well may be. Um, but the blade should be carbon steel. So anyway, and it's uh, C75 carbon steel. So um, I think that ranks under 1095 as far as, aid, as far as edge retention and everything. But I honestly don't use my knife enough in one day for it to really matter. So I'm not that concerned about it. Uh, but anyway, I mean, if you're looking for a knife that is a well-made knife to get you started in the slip joint knives or you just want a uh, fairly affordable slip joint knife that's going to work well uh, these otter messer three rivet knives i think they're about 65 dollars i think that's about what i paid for mine 60 in fact i think it might have been 60 that i paid for this one but you know 60 65 dollars for one of these i would say it's worth it for that the quality seems to be there of course it's not as high quality as a great eastern cutlery knife but I wouldn't expect that for, you know, 60 or $65. It does seem to beat out case quality uh, most of the time, at least in my experience with my two Otter Messers. Of course, I have a lot more experience with case. Um, but I mean, with my two examples that I've gotten from Otter Messer, I have been impressed. So, anyway, going to end the video before I babble on forever about stuff that's not about this knife. Um, and I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.